Hi, my name is James Bird, and in this video, I want to um, have a bit of a play around with the uh, mesh Boolean tools. So if we have a look at this, um, this box here, if I want to say hollow out this box, I could uh, just create a duplicated um, box structure, and then just scale this box down. If I went into wireframe mode, I could sort of see where the box uh, was in here, create like a little cutter of this box, go into my various uh, views and obviously align uh, where my, my box is uh, in these various views. And see here, so I'm happy enough that that will work uh, for my particular instance here. Now the first tool I'm going to show is simply just a, a difference. So say for instance, if I wanted to create I don't know, like a, um, a television cabinet. So let's say uh, that can be sort of the central part of a TV cabinet. Might move that up a little bit, something like that. Uh, let's again create another duplicate of my cutter here and put it down where the things are. So then I'm basically trying to create sort of the, the design there for uh, a box with, with legs on the bottom. So now I can go through a process of going the object that I want to apply the cutter to. This is my cutter and then I can go mesh booleans difference and then I can go mesh and then booleans difference. And there's a really simple way of constructing something like a, a back-faced um, you know, television cabinet or something like that. What I also want to do is make sure that my edges and faces here are neatly aligned. Like I don't want to have these uh, random uh, faces and edges being applied. So you can see here, like that's a very poor face construction design. I'd want to make sure that I uh, you know, add in additional edges and things here. In my uh, uh, 2015, they've got an, a new tool which allows me to do this. So if I go into mesh tools and I go down to uh, my multi-cut tool and then view it, I can use the multi-cut tool to actually come in here and construct new edge designs. So if I say make a new edge here and if I press enter, that will actually construct new edges. So it's nice and neat. It's a different tool to the split polygon tool, but uh, does very similar things. And again, I might want to come up here and neaten up my edges on this particular design. And uh, I could go through and, and change all my different things. And again, I might want to come in, uh, in here, probably just, and then delete my edges that I no longer want. In my design so that all looks pretty good and there's a, a simple um, construction of a could be a, a drawer or a cabinet a um, television stand etc utilizing some boolean and also some uh, multi-cut edge tools